and welcome to my new video. Today we discuss about the set theory. So set theory means uh, we start from the beginning what is a set, which collection of data is called a set and then we move to relation and functions. So we start with the sets, union of set, uh, intersection of set, subsets, what is this set theory? Very basic, basic definition, a set is a collection of any well-defined objects. So for example, how we describe for example, if we tell a set of the days in a week. So we can say that is collection of that set is called one week. The elements for that set are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. It's like that. So set is a collection of object or more specified definition, a collection of well-defined objects is called a set. For example, set is written by A equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So this is called a set. Always set closed in two brackets and all the elements of set is separated by comma. Set notation always given by the like x, y, z, a, b, p, q, all the big alphabet. This is set notation and elements given by a, b, c, 1, 2, 3. So if we use at the place element with alphabet then we write always the small letter case. So for big letter case notation of set elements notation is small letter case. So always elements use the small case. Now another sign this. This is called belongs to. So if we say A belongs to A, it means this is element A is belong to contain in set A. For example, if we discuss about this, here 2 belongs to A, 4 belongs to A. Now if I say 12 belongs to A, is this clear? No. There is this set is end at 2, 4, only 5 elements are there, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So 12 is not belongs to. So this sign if we cut with between is called not belongs to. Like same, equal to, not equal to. Belongs to, not belongs to. So if some elements not belongs to that set, we write like this. It's not belong to, does not belongs from the given set. Next, the representation of set. There are two types of representation. One is called rooster form, other is called builder form. So this is called rooster form. Rooster means is describe everything. Next, what is rooster form? Rooster form means all elements are listed with the comma. So this is called rooster form. For example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, set of all natural number, set of collection of alphabets. So if we can say A is A comma B comma C comma X comma Y comma Z. It means A is set of alphabets. So all the elements separated by comma is called rooster form. Next I will describe you the builder form. What is this builder form? In builder form we give, we describe a rule. From that rule all the elements are related to each other. So for example for this builder form A X X is alphabet X, X is alphabet of English. So all alphabets from A to Z in containing in this set. For example, another if I describe a set A is equal to X where X is a natural number, number and X is greater than 3. So it means in this set all the 
natural numbers come but starting from greater than 3 it means start from this cell start from 4 5 6 and all the natural numbers so this is called builder form for example one another example for this how to write its builder form x what is x x is even number and x belongs from 2 to 10 so x is less than equal to 2 and x is greater than equal to 2 and less than equal to 10 means x is a set of all even number which between them so here's the rooster form this is the builder form so rooster means the all the elements are listed with one comma uh, with each element list, uh, separated by comma and builder gives with one definition one rule next follow the example how to write the builder form for example a set in rooster form a equal to 5 square by 6 comma 6 square by 7 comma 7 square by 8 write in the builder form so first we find out the which from which rule they describe the element so here we can see 5 square by 6 means n square upon n plus 1 if you put n equal to 5 we will get this term see all the elements will find out with this equation n square by n plus 1 so our builder form for given set is x where x equal to n square plus 1 and x begin with 5 and with 7 so x is greater than equal to 5 and less than equal to 7 if we put equal to sign means begin with x value of x is 5 6 and 7 if we don't want to include 5 and 7 then one more rule we can write here that is the same like x is greater than 4 and less than 8 it means it's not equal to 4 so x is greater than 4 that is 5 6 7 and less than 8 so 7 so we can write like this also and we can write like 5 equal to 7 both are okay for given set next some notation which you always know because in the book or sometimes in the problem sum they give the direct for example this capital B is shows the set of prime number n is set of natural number i or z is set of integers q is set of rational number r is set of real number w is set of whole number i plus if their plus sign means set of all positive integers i minus means set of all negative integers next so this is the sum standard notation of set which we have to remember or identify what if they give w means w is set of all whole numbers next some kind of set first is empty set or we can say null set so what is empty set empty set means the zero element a set which contain no element is called empty set which we write like two bracket between no element or with this five we show empty set next is finite set a set with finite number of element for example this one two three four two ten it's called finite set infinite set have infinite number of element for example set of all integer from minus infinity to plus infinity this is called infinite set next is universal set universal set is most important because if we further we study about the subsets and relation between subsets then definitely there are universal set mean main set for example if u is our universal set 1 2 3 4 to 10 a and b are like that then we can say subset means from main universal set we take some element and make another set is called subset so we here say a is subset of u it means we can see a 1 2 3 all the elements here b is also subset of u because all the elements of b also belonging from universal set so universal set is main set and subsets are 
collection of some data from the universal set some element next i will show you what is cardinality what is cardinality cardinality of a set is equal to the number of elements in a set number of for example so 6 is cardinality is number of element in set that is denoted by n if our set is u so n u so n u here in this set is 10 number of element is 10 for this cardinality is n a is 3 number of element is 3 so always remember what is cardinality cardinality is the number of element belongs to set next another is singleton set singleton set is having single element means a set with only one element is called singleton set so next most important thing is concept of subset so what is subset subset is a small set from the main set sometimes subset is always equal to the main set also so subset have some property i will describe now the properties of subset then we go from for algebra of sets so what is always subset of itself for example if a then subset means all the elements if we including then it is called subset if a is subset of b b is subset of c then definitely we can say a is subset of c the su only subset of phi is phi itself means for empty set its subset is itself only for singleton set subset is empty set and itself only for two element are there then the subsets are empty set one element x another element y and x y so for two elements subset are four so for this these are the properties of subset next we learn about the algebra of set in my next video thank you very much